Trapper like the narco. narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wego. Movie in rapping kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potato. The Migos got a record on a uh, Culture 2 album, man, called Narcos, man. One of the hottest records on the album to me, man. Pretty dope record, man. I just think it's, like, well put together, man. And they got that, like, Colombian, uh, Tony Montana type of feel, man. And to come to find out, surprisingly, what I didn't know was Quavo helped produce the, uh, the song itself, man. So, I mean, shout out to Quavo for becoming, like, a well-rounded artist, man. I heard he's in the studio with Kanye West. And Kanye West is trying to help him um, learn how to make beats and, you know, uh, produce records, man. So, man, shout out to Quavo. And he not only helped produce this Narcos um, project, but he also produced other songs on the record. He either co-produced or produced himself, man. So, again, shout out to that man, man. I think Narcos is definitely a dope record. I think it's definitely a hot record. Honestly, I would like to see the Migos do a visual for the record because, you know, sometimes when you get a visual or a video, man, it, it actually takes the record to another level, man. Sometimes an okay song can become hot. Sometimes a hot song can, can become a hit record, man. So I definitely would like to see a video out of these boys, man. And not only that, I think the visual would help them put the song on other platforms, man. Because me personally, I think they can capitalize off this song, man. I think the song could be on, you know, several different TV shows, documentaries, uh, movies. Like Netflix got like four or five like different cartel, Colombian type of movies, man. Like uh, Narcos, Surviving um, Pablo, Queen of the South. I definitely think it could be featured on like any of those shows, man. They can just capitalize like monetary wise off the record, man. Um, Again, I think it's hot. One of the better songs, BBO, hot record, man. Stir Fry, hot record. I think this is up there with like those other records, man. Uh, the Migos, they are who they are. Quavo was on the hook. I think the hook is definitely hot, man. Offset, I think Offset personally is like the best lyricist on the uh, squad. Um, he had two verses on the song, and Takeoff had the ending verse, man. Um, me personally, I thought the end of the hook was like the hottest part of the song. It really brought the song out. But I do like the vibe of the song, man, the feel of the song. I think, you know, um, it's a pretty cool record, man. Not only this song, Narcos, but BBO, Stir Fry, Motorsport, other songs on CC. On the record, help make the Migos have a number one debut album again, man. With, um, with the Culture 2 record, man, it had 199,000 uh, um, copies sold the first week, which includes the streaming services. And they became the first rap group to have back-to-back -back weeks on the Artist 100 list created by Billboard. I mean, that's a big, that's a big move, man. Good looks. Do y'all feel like, man, that Migos, and no disrespect to anything, are the like the biggest group in hip hop right now? We the biggest group ever. That way. Go ahead now. Got to be. Ever in hip hop, pop, all that. Especially 199,000 copies the first week, man. Considering they're they're like. They're kind of like polarizing, man. People love them, people hate them. It's not really like an in-between with these guys, man. Me, I, I rock with the Migos, man. I like these boys, man. And I, and I respect where they came from, man. And 199,000 first week from, again, a polarizing group like the Migos, man, I think it's big, man. I think that's definitely a good look considering where they came from, man. And back to the Artist 100 list, man. Um, they, they're like the first rap group to do so, I mean, the, the list has only been out since like July 2014, but again, man, I think that's a I think that's a big look, man. Also, they tied the Beatles with 14 records on the uh, Billboard Hot 100, man. I love the Migos, like I think they're awesome. I think they're the Beatles, bro. like I... 14 records on the Hot 100 at the same time, tying the Beatles, man. I think I mean I think that's big, and it's dating all the way back to 1959, man, and. Just think about how many, you know, songs they got out right now, man. Just the culture one, 
They still playing records off that. The culture too. They playing records off that. They all have their individual albums that they're working on, um, individual collaborative projects, singles, features. I mean, the Migos everywhere, man. Whether you love them, whether you hate them, I, me personally, I think they left their stamp on the game, man. They have made their imprint. If they decided to stop the day, they definitely left their stamp on the game, man. Go check out all their music on all the streaming services. Also, Title did a. Um, a documentary on the Migos, man. They did a documentary, 18 minutes long, pretty dope. A year ago today, we released Culture. We knew what we had, and we wanted the world to hear it, but we honestly didn't know what was about to happen. Two million albums sold, 15 million singles later, and we still here. Go check that out, man. Migos, Narcos, Chamberlain, Status Only. Come check in with us. Travel like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. Still a wiggle. Movie in rapid kilo. 